Hello, uh, my dear students. This is Shad Al Qassas, uh, physics teacher, Sharjah American International School. And today uh, uh, we are going to have a new online session um, about Archimedes principle and point force. Uh, basically, Archimedes principle and point force. If um, if we wanted to summarize the the whole ideas, uh, they are basically two basic ideas. Uh, you may have uh, one of two situations. You may have uh, a floating object uh, like this one. It's a piece of uh, wood or cork which is uh, floating. Uh, or you may have uh, an object that uh, that is submerged uh, or it is sinking in 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 water or any other fluid. Um, those are the two basic situations. So if the object is floating. Uh, there are some basic ideas that you need to know here. Uh, the first idea is the object is floating which means that the object is balanced. And uh, from our knowledge uh, about mechanics, the previous knowledge in, in grade 10, we knew that when you have a balanced object this means that the submission of F net is equal to zero. There is no net force acting on the object which means that the acting forces are opposite and equal. How many forces are here? Basically we have two forces, Fb, which is an upward force uh, caused by the, 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 the fluid, which is uh, rising the object upward, and the other one is uh, the weight of the object, which is a downward force. Uh, from this shape um, and from the case itself, we know that both forces are equal and opposite, which means that the Fg is equal to Fb. Uh, which means that the net force is equal to zero. So if you got a balance, I, I mean if you got um, a spring scale and you weight, you try to weight the object in, in this case in, in the water to trying to get the net force, you'll find it, it is zero, which means that there is no apparent weight. So one of the conclusions that you need to know uh, about a balanced object, two basic things. Uh, one of them is the Fg is equal to the Fb. So if I wanted to know uh, how much point force acting on a floating object, just get the weight of the object. If you don't have the weight of the object, get its mass times g. If you don't have its mass, you can get it by um, uh, the rho of the object times v and times g. So the mass here is rho v. Uh, which will be equal to Fb. It depends on your givens. If you have the Fg, the weight of the object, get it right away. Fg is equal to Fb. If you don't have the, the weight of the object directly, you can get it from its mass, which is uh, mass times the gravitational acceleration g, 9.8. If you don't have the mass, you can get it from the rho of the object times the volume of the object times g. Uh, the volume, basically, if, if you have an organized uh, object, um, so uh, most probably you will get a cube or you will get um, an organized shape so you will be having the length and width and height so you can get its volume uh, put the volume put the row of the object which is the uh, the weight the density of the object and multiply the three values you will get fb in newtons for a submerged object if the object is having a real weight and an apparent weight, you need to be sure that the object is sinking. And vice versa, if the object is having, uh, uh, um, is, is sinking, this means that it has an apparent weight. So the apparent weight is the net force that, that is acting on the object. You can find it by, you can find the net force, uh, you can find the Fb, uh, which is buoyant force, by uh, subtracting Fg minus F appearance. For example, if the real weight in the air it's equal to 100 uh, newtons and here it is equal to 80 newtons and this is the apparent weight, the weight of the object in the fluid. By subtracting both values you will find out Fb uh, and Fb in this case will be equal to 20 newtons. In most of the cases after I ask you how much is the Fb I can ask you what is the type of the object by getting its row. What type of object is that? So by getting its row you can apply this simple equation. Uh, we derived it before so you need to check our Facebook group or um, uh, our uh, Twitter account in order to have an idea about how we derived this equation. And this equation is like the row of the object or the density of the object divided by the row of the fluid or the density of the fluid is, <coughs> is equal to 
the weight of the object divided by and here I mean the real weight divided by the FB that you calculated in the first place here so uh, we will suppose that the object here we don't know its row and let's fix this triple row so this one is here row divided by let's suppose that the, 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 the fluid is water so it is 1000 kilograms per meter cube which would be equal to the, the real weight of the object is 100 divided by the FB that you calculated here which is 20 cross multiply you can get the row of the object which is 100 times 1000 divided by 20 and don't forget that the row is having a unit of kilograms per meter cube so it all depends on the case itself do you have a floating object or do you have a sinking object so this is the whole idea uh, so if you have a, a, a floating object this means that uh, you have no apparent force or apparent weight it's zero then it's force is zero and this means that FG is equal to FB if you have an apparent weight this means that for sure the object is submerged and you can find the FB by subtracting both forces and then you can find the uh, row of the object by applying this simple formula so again to summarize what we have um, uh, discussed now if you have a floating object be sure that if apparent is equal to zero no apparent force which means that your point force upward is equal to your FG real and I mean here the real weight there is no uh, apparent weight so the FG will be the weight of the object and let's draw it here FB and FG will be equal if you wanted to get the FB for more details so you can just find the mass of the object times the G if you don't have the mass just break it into uh, row object times V times G so this is the FB upward force if you having if you're having a, a, a submerged object so we will be having its real weight FG real in the air the eye is trying to hide here so in the air and we have its real its apparent weight apparent weight so you are sure that the apparent weight is less than the, the apparent weight is less than the real weight and the difference is in the FB so FB is equal to the difference between F real which is FG of the object minus F apparent and then I may ask you to find the, 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 the row of the fluid but I will give you an idea uh, or, or I give you some, some, some ideas about the, the object so you can find the row of the fluid or I can ask you to find the row of the object so using this amazing equation which is row object over row fluid it will be equal to FG over FB whatsoever if you have uh, if you, we need to know the row of the object you can get it by multi the cross multiplication here if you need the row of the fluid I, uh, I need to give you some ideas here related to uh, row object and you know that row object is equal to mass over volume and the volume as you know will be equal to uh, length times width times height and you need to be aware of the different convergence because uh, sometimes in our problems we may face uh, a length like uh, 10 uh, centimeters or 10 millimeters and we are not dealing with these 
uh, measurements these units in SI units we are dealing with uh, meters so you need to 10 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters and this one will be 10 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters um, if, if you had the volume like uh, 2 um, for example 2 centimeter cube centimeter cube you need to convert it into meter cube by multiplying you know that the centimeter is 10 to the power of negative 2 so by cube it will be 10 to the power of negative 6 so 2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 gives you meter cube so these are some ideas about convergence because in some cases you may have in centimeters and millimeters or centimeter um, uh, cube or millimeter cube so please be aware of this uh, this idea uh, talking about Archimedes principle this this amazing formula that we discussed before um, um, Archimedes discovered that uh, if you have any object uh, any unknown object which is um, you don't have its row you don't have its density he told you that if if you have an object like that and you drop this object here in some fluid let's here make a certain hole and you drop the object here down you'll find out that the object will displace an amount of water here and this displaced amount of water we can figure out something here that if you displace the whole if you put the whole object inside you know that the v of the displaced fluid is equal to f of the object so if the ob of the object is equal to f of the displaced fluid um, and also you can figure out that fg uh, here f f g or uh, fb or buoyant force is equal to fg of the displaced fluid fg of the displaced fluid so the weight of the displaced fluid is equal to f b this is Archimedes principle so um, this is uh, our ideas for today please if you wanted to get more information uh, you please visit our uh, YouTube channel which is Shad al Qasas just type Shad al Qasas and you will find out our YouTube uh, channel it has many uh, many projects done by our students so I would appreciate if you um, check them out also you'll find out a lab session here that is discussing how we can calculate buoyant force uh, in a practical basis so please check them Assalamu out alaikum. Uh, this is Shadr Qasaz, physics so please teacher Sharjah American International School and today inshallah with my 11 uh, students we are going to um, so here I'm showing you how you can calculate the buoyant force using that weight and find out that the please check them out this is a very valuable resource especially that uh, our students they have done this uh, in the school's lab also you please check our website which is um, Prof Shadi uh, on Google sites so please check them out and you can get your um, uh, materials from here uh, and our online uh, library it's profshady.com please check also check this out you have lots of interesting videos uh, thank you very much for your time and please if you wanted uh, uh, any to, to, to question anything or you have any comment please post them post them in uh, any of the websites that you have also please visit our uh, Facebook group and join us um, on the Facebook group uh, you have many Facebook groups here so we have SIS physics and we have grade 10 physics for girls and also we have grade 11 physics please uh, check them out and join us uh, thank you for your time and I hope that you enjoyed our online session thank you